guys, time for Hot Topics. Let's do it. Hi guys, so today I want to share another story with you. Today I want to talk about Carol Radswell bashing Andy Cohen, Bethany Frankel, and fans. Oh my gosh, just when I thought it was safe. You know, I, I've been on vacation. I come back from vacation. You know, I'm in a good mood. I was ready to lift Carol's Fruit Loop label that I've given her. You know, because to me, she's been acting like a Fruit Loop all season. And I was like, listen, time has passed. Let's let bygones be bygones. Let's remove the Fruit Loop label. I was just this close to doing a few. Just this close. I almost lifted it probably like... I would have lifted it 10 minutes ago, and then this article comes out. Oh God, she's at it again, people. She's at it again. Does it stop? Does it ever, ever stop? Apparently not. So we knew all season long, Carol has been not falling out with Bethany, like maybe showing her hatred for Bethany, okay? And I remember I got bashed for it, because I was like, I'm team Bethany. Like, this is going too far. And people were like, you're the devil. I knew you, you know, you were Lucifer. You know, how dare you say bad things about Carol? I really, really got it. But that's how I felt at the time. I thought, these two used to be friends. They used to have found, had some kind of common ground. Can we get to a place of, you know, just civility, people? Can we just be able to be in the same room with each other? And just got worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. Until the point, I just start thinking, Carol has lost her mind, people. Just, bye-bye, you know, she's out to lunch, you know. Let us know when you return. She still hasn't returned. Not only has she not returned, I personally feel like maybe she's taking some kind of crazy pills. Like, something has got her spazzing out, people. Something's got her spazzing out. And I feel like Carol should be in some kind of social media jail. She needs to just stay off of social media for a while because, you know, these are permanent tweets, Carol. They're not going away. Even if you try to delete them, people like me are going to look them up and be like, remember what you said? For your own good, you need to delete social media. This is the cause of your problem. Okay? So she's on social media again today, people. She's on social media again. Oh, this, 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 this is bad, this is bad. Okay, so what did she do? Okay, so... You know how you watch Watch What Happens Live and they always have those polls, whose side are you on? Uh, you know, who's fat, who's not fat? Like, they are really some <laughs> provocative questions at time, right? But that's just how it is, people. I mean, do you think for one second if Watch What Happens Live didn't put out these dumb polls that people wouldn't have these thoughts? No, 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 no. These thoughts are going through people's head, okay? But a fan tweeted her, a result of a poll, whose side are you on, Bethany or Carol? Bethany had 71%, I think Carol had 28%, okay? And um, somebody felt that she needed to know. Maybe they were doing it out of the kindness of their heart. Or maybe they were just messy as hell. I'm probably gonna go with messy as hell. But anyway, her response to it was really ridiculous. She says, <laughs> whoa, it's, it's real crazy. So she responds, LOL, his polls are seven people in the control room. His, as in Andy Cohen, okay? Um, even when I won them, I would laugh. We understand it's for TV. Oh, really, Carol? The polls are fake? I mean, it's not so much of what you said, but it's about burning bridges. I mean, do you want to make sure you never step foot on that set again? <laughs> I mean, don't you just shake hands, it didn't work out, let's part ways peacefully, but you're calling the guy a liar? <laughs> and that his polls are rigged? I mean, that's not a good look for you. That, In my opinion, in my opinion, I would bow out gracefully. Even if I was fired, you know, you never know when you run into people or when you're, who you're gonna need down the road, Carol. You're making sure that Bravo hates you. Okay, but that was your choice, but then it really got worse. It got so worse, and this is when she crossed the line even further. You've been crossing the line months ago, but this is like diving off the bridge. This is when she dove off the bridge for me, never to return. So um, so people start responding to her, because she's responding to fans, telling us polls are fake and whatnot, even though, you know, I want to think maybe that fan wanted to give you a little advice. I mean, you could have just read my comments section and realized that, you know, you weren't too favorable this season. No offense. Let's move on. Okay, so. So, um, someone said, sir, why didn't you reach out to Bethany after Dennis passed away? <sighs> this is so bad. She says, Bethany and I are not friends. If we were, 
she knows where I'd be. But she threw all that away last year for a TV show. This is when she took it up a notch for me. So, you know, I joke around a lot. I, I love to joke around. But then there's certain things you don't joke around about, okay? And she just lost her boyfriend, possibly fiance, you know, on and off. They could have been, you know, engaged by now. Those feelings are so raw and so, you know, death is a horrible thing to deal with people. I'm trying to tell you, I know firsthand it is awful and it's something you don't play around with. And even on to your worst enemy, you just don't do it. You just don't do it, at least in not, not in my opinion. That's my dog. He, you know, he has sleep apnea. <laughs> he keeps uh, snoring. I just really think Carol crossed the line here with the dentist thing, especially with it being so soon after, and even worse that you lost your husband, Carol. You know how that feels. What are we doing here? Like, how mad are we gonna get? Like, you're really, in my opinion, now I know there's a lot of Carol fans out there. This is not a good look. This is not a good look. You have crossed the line. It just borderlines disgusting in my opinion. There's a TV show where you guys go back and forth at each other and then there's just basic human decency. It's gone too far. It's really gone too far. And if, if you had to take my advice and uh, you didn't ask me for it, I, you know, I'm just giving it for free, you know. I would say call your friend, your ex-friend, Bethany, and just at least tell her you're sorry for Dennis's death and nothing else. Just let's just get back to being civil here people you know if we can't and if you can't get back to being civil I'm gonna have to go and put you on that island you know the one I put Kelly Ben Simone on you know that Kelly you know that one well that's my opinion and that's my housewife stories for you today what I want to know in the comment section who's gone too far Carol or me <laughs> or me people I'm just gonna get down to it Andy isn't the only one that can do polls who is the most disrespectful person in the situation? Me or Carol? Because I think Carol's behavior is just disgusting. And if you don't think her uh, behavior is disgusting, let me know that too in the comments section. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification button for more stories like these. Until next time, talk to you then. Bye.